Hello everyone, this is Ashley here at the Speedway Public Library, and today we are going to be making mandala sun catchers. So to begin, we are going to need a blank mandala coloring sheet. Um, you can either find one online to print out, or you could even draw one yourself. And um, we're going to need that roughly about three inches or so. We're going to be needing one or two um, cotton balls, a mason jar lid, and that's what is about roughly three inches or so. Some colored pencils, some string of any kind. Um, we're going to be using it to hang it up. Some paper towels, a pair of scissors, and some oil. Um, this is just what I had from doing a craft before. You do not have to use grapeseed oil. You can use really any kind of oil, vegetable oil, um, extra virgin olive oil, uh, coconut oil, basically anything that's an oil um, you can use. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to use our colored pencils to color in our mandala. So I have already done that just so I have one kind of already made because it takes a little bit of time to color these. And then you're going to use, which unfortunately I already did that so I'll do it on this one real quick. You're going to use your lid to cut out your design. So if you place it over the design, you can either trace the lid from the outside. Um, unfortunately, by doing that, it is going to be slightly bigger. What I prefer, if you take your pencil or whatever you're using to mark it, go on the inside and trace it. And that way, it's going to be the inside. Um, it's going to fit within. And then once you have that, you can then cut that out. Oops. I'm doing this kind of quick so it's not, not going to be perfect. Boom, 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 boom. And then once you have your mandala cut out and colored, like I said, it should, it'll, it is going to fit in here. But we're not going to do that just yet. So we'll put that aside and we have our colored mandala move some of these real quick so what we're going to do next after you've colored and cut it out is take your cotton balls and you're going to get some oil on your cotton ball and kind of be aware of what's underneath um, so if you want you could take one of your paper towels and lay that underneath that way oil is not getting on whatever surface you're using and you're going to start dabbing on top of your coloring sheet so what this is going to do is kind of make it a little bit translucent um, which will give it that sun catcher kind of look So we want to make sure that the entire thing is soaked. Yep, and as you can see, if you turn it over, we still have a couple of spots. So I'm going to go ahead and just go from the back side here and finish putting on some more of that oil. Like I said, we want the entire thing to be covered. All right, once the whole coloring sheet is covered, we are going to wait five minutes. All right, once five minutes have passed, go ahead and take a paper towel and just kind of blot some of the excess oil off of your coloring sheet. I'm gonna go ahead and put a different one underneath because this one is now full of oil. that and just keep kind of blot it and you can already kind of see that it is more translucent I don't know if you can see right there you can kind of see the edge of the paper towel or even you can kind of see the shadow of my hand through it so definitely a lot different than a regular piece of paper now so now that we have our fully oiled up piece of paper we are going to take our mason jar lid 
and then it is going to go right inside. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is that we are going to need either glue or tape to keep this in here. So whichever you use is up to you. As I usually do, I'm just going to use some tape just because that is what I have on hand um, at the moment and it's a little bit quicker in case we want to show these off. So we're gonna just lay that right inside and then if you're taping, just tape it to the edge. So mine's like a slightly big, I could trim that if I wanted to, but I'm not too concerned. Oops, looks like I missed it. There we go. And I'm just gonna do it. I would make sure kind of all the edges are down. Um, just for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it as is. But if I were to fully use it, I'd make sure all the edges are down. And then once you have your picture inside your mason jar lid, you're going to take that string or whatever it is that you are using to tie it. And we're actually going to wrap it around the edge of the mason jar lid. So I'd try to keep it consistent on where we're placing it. So I'm probably actually going to do right up here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go around twice. So I just went around twice. And then you're going to want to make sure it's tight and tie it together. Definitely do a double knot. All right. And the very last thing to do is you're going to want to tie a way to put it on the window and so you can either put it on a hook or a magnet um, give it like a magnet not a magnet so you put it on a hook <laughs> like a suction cup or if you have um, just somewhere you want to hang it in the house you could do that too but that is how to make a very simple and easy sun catcher thank you so much for joining me and I will catch you next Monday.